everyone, welcome back to the channel. In the last video, we built a perfect attention grabbing homepage using experimental add ins. And today, we are moving one step deeper designing a powerful about us page. And this page is not just about you, this is about why someone should trust you. This is where emotions meet logic. And when you do it right, you can turn your casual visitors into true customers. And no, we're not building a boring about us page here. We are building it with style and strategy. So let's get started. All right, first, let's take a quick look at this perfect example of an about us page template. Okay, so the first section that we are going to create is this hero section, the same as the home page. An engaging introductory headline, a concise description of who you are and what you do, and a convincing CTA. Then right after the hero section, your about us page will have our story and mission section. People love to know the why behind a brand. And storytelling is the most effective way to share your journey. I mean, it makes your business feel more human and that builds trust. Now, right after this section, we will be having a why choose a section. Here you will clearly show your customers or highlight the key benefits of your services that make you different and better than the others. Now, once you have clearly communicated your VN and your unique selling points, the next important section should be the team behind it. Even if it's just you, show faces. People trust people, not logos. And finally, end your about us page with what others are saying about you. Basically, positive reviews are the social proof. They show that you are trustworthy and that others are already happy with your work. Now, without further ado, let's design this perfect about us page step by step. All right, guys. So first up, we have the hero section. So usually all our pages start kind of the same first section design. So what I'm going to do is just head over to my home page, copy the first section from there and paste it here. Super quick, right? And then I'll just tweak it a bit to fit this page, like the image. I mean, since this is the about us page, the image needs to feel, well, more real, something personal, something that shows who we are. I mean, if you got a team, show your team in action. It just adds that human touch. And guys, please don't forget to optimize that image file name and alt text. It's a small step, but important part of on-page SEO. All right, next up, the title. We are keeping it simple here about us and that's it no fancy stuff clear and to the point and right under that the description this part's important you want to drop your brand's one line promise here just explain what you do and say it in a way that sounds confident like yep this is what we are good at and here's how we help you and now comes the button I'm actually gonna keep the same button we used on the home page because it just makes things feel more connected across the site. Visitors don't have to think twice. It keeps things familiar and smooth. And the last little thing, I'm adjusting my container size because I noticed that the height felt a bit too much after pasting. So I'm just reducing it slightly just to keep the layout tighter and more balanced. Guys, this section is seriously the same as we built it at our home page section and all this was done in minutes. And of course, all thanks to Expro Add-ons widget. All right, guys, let's move on to our next section, which is our story and our mission. Now, this section, this is the heart of the whole page. I mean, this is where people really feel who you are. It's kind of the emotional engine of your brand. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make this in two blocks, one for the story and the other for the mission. Now, um, how I like to build this, I usually go with the separate containers for each widgets. Like, yes, you can add multiple widgets in one container and that's totally fine. But I personally like to keep things separate. It just gives me more control, you know, easier to space things out, easier to tweak stuff later and especially when you're checking the mobile view. So yeah, this way just feel cleaner to me. Okay, all right, so let's start with the first container. So I'm dropping in an image widget. 
Now for the image, like I said earlier, make it feel real. Not those generic, perfect stock photos. Try something that shows you or your team or just something behind the scene, something real. And don't forget to size it right. We don't want to look weird or taking over the whole screen. Just keep it clean and balanced. Next up, the heading. Well, we all know how much I love this X-Pro heading widget. I mean, honestly, it's just better than the basic heading widgets. It gives you more freedom with designs and styling. But here's a little shortcut. I already made this heading style on the home page. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just copying and pasting that here. I mean, that way the color, the font, size, and all of that stays the same. And it's super quick and keep things consistent. And of course, I will change the text because this time we are telling our story. And then comes the description part. And this is where you talk about your journey. Like how it all started, what made you get into this, and what keeps you going on. Don't overthink it guys, just be real and be honest. Even if the story is messy, that's what makes it good. Now here's another SEO tip. While writing this part naturally includes some keywords related to your service or your niche. Don't force it, but just blend it naturally. It helps Google better understand the relevance of your page. Okay, that's it. Now let's move to our mission blog. This part is actually fun. I will literally just duplicate the first blog I made and then I'll just flip the layout. So now the image goes on the other side. It makes the section looks a bit more, mm, you know, like interesting, not so repetitive. It's kind of like zigzag vibe, right? Now I will change the heading to our mission. And then in the description, I'll talk about what we are really here to do. Like, what's the bigger goal? What do we want to help people with? And what do we care about? I mean, guys, think of it like sharing a short emotional moment, something that people can connect with. I mean, you want them to read and go like, oh, wow, okay, I get what they're about. <laughs> and hey, quick tip again, use another real image here if you can. Maybe another team photo or something casual. It just makes your brand feel more human and more trustworthy. And boom, that's your story and mission section. And honestly, this one is super important. It's simple to build, but if you do it right, it leaves a big impact. All right, guys, now let's jump to our third section. Why choose us? So up until now, we have been all emotional, right? Our story, our mission, that's the why. But now we are switching gears. Now we are giving the solid reason why someone should actually choose us. Like, hey, here's what we really bring to the table. Okay, first thing first, quick container setup. I'm setting this section to a boxed container instead of a full width one. Mm, I feel that boxed layout keep things tighter and more neat. I mean, it's easier to control the space and it looks more focused and digestible for the viewer, especially when you are listing out the key points like this. Now, inside this container, I'm adding two columns. One on the left, that's for my heading, description, and our big list of reasons. And on the right, that's where we'll place an image. Yes, another one. We love our images, right? Okay, so let's start with the left side. I'm dropping in a heading. Why chooses, nice and clear. Then a short description underneath. And now comes the fun part, the list. I'm using the Xpro info list widget here and oh my God, this widget is just amazing. Like seriously, once you start using it, you'll be hooked. It's clean, it's stylish and just got a lot of flexibility. Now, let's design the points, I mean the list, and we are keeping them short, bold, and benefit-driven. Quick tip, don't make the text too long. These are the benefit, not blog posts. Just hit the point and move on.
You know guys, lists like this also help with SEO, especially if they use strong scannable keywords. Google loves structured content because it's easier to understand and sometimes even get picked up as a featured snippet. All right, now let's slide over to the next column, the image. I know, I know, we have talked a lot about image choice already, but again, make sure it matches the vibe here. Okay, let's take a quick look at the preview. Uh, I feel the image is looking kind of too big right now. So let's just fix that. And there. Now the section looks way better. Clean, simple and more finished. Remember, the goal is to give a clean, easy and user-friendly experience. Not too cluttered, not too empty, just the right. And that's it. The whole section is ready. All right, let's dive into our stats section. So here's the deal. Numbers have a unique way of making things feel real. It's like when someone says, we have done 100 plus projects or 1000 plus projects. It hits differently, right? That's the power of stat. They make everything believable. So start with the catchy headline like our achievement or our projects. Then add a description to add a little context, like what this stat is going to be about. Now I'm setting up the main container to showcase our key stats in a clean, organized layout. My goal is to fit at least four stats in a single row. I'll start fresh with the first one using the XPro counter widget. Guys, it's the game changer for displaying the numbers in a dynamic and visually appealing way. So for each stat, choose a number that represents your achievement, add a label that explains what the number means, style it to match your site look. And here's a pro tip, keep the numbers big and bold. You want them to stand out and make an impact. So once you have set up your first ad, move on to the next one. You can duplicate the previous block to maintain the consistency. Then just update the number and the label. And that's it. Okay, time to meet the humans behind the brand. Yes, it's the meet the team section. This part is super important because people don't just trust logos, they trust people. So what I'm doing here is I'm actually reusing the layout from the stat section right above. It already has the same structure I need, heading, description, and those container blocks. So yeah, I'm just copying that whole section and pasting it down here. Now, I'll quickly change the heading to meet the team, short, clear, and friendly. And for the description, I'll add a little line about the people behind the brand. Nothing too heavy, just a simple intro like, these are the folks who make things run around here or something that suits you. All right, now let's deal with these containers. Since we do not need the stat style box anymore, I'm deleting the three container here and I'll just keep one container to start fresh. Now I'll go ahead and drop in an image widget for our first team member. Add the image of the member, their designation. You can even add a hover effect using XPro. It makes it feel more modern 
And if you're feeling fancy, throw in social icons like LinkedIn, but keep it clean. Too much can feel messy. And here's a pro tip. Try to use similar style photos, same background or lighting. It keeps the whole section looking neat and professional. I know one of my images doesn't match right now. I kind of lost the one with the same background. <laughs> but no worries, I'll fix that later. For now, I just want to show you the process. And I think this part needs a background too. So just to make it look nicer, here, let's add one. Remember guys, this section is not just for showing off your team. It tells your visitor, hey, we are real people and we are here to help. I mean, basically this section builds reliability and transparency. It makes people feel like they know who they are hiding or buying from. And that's it. Okay guys, now it's time for the testimonial section. And guess what? This part is super chill. You won't need to do much here because testimonials are usually the same across all the pages. So we can simply copy the testimonial section from another page, I mean from our previous page and paste it here. And ta-da! And that's it, your about us page is done. Remember, people don't buy from businesses, they buy from brands they trust. And thanks to experimental add-ons that makes it super easy to design pages that really connects with your visitor and build trust. Now stay tuned guys, because in the next video, we'll design a service detail page with style and strategy. Now, if you like this video helpful, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications so you don't miss any more helpful videos like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next.